Hey, everybody. So I want to talk about Morgan versus Aki Flow today. And the reason for that is I found both of these on Product Hunt the same week. And I discovered Morgan first and I was like, this is amazing. And then the next day, Aki Flow came out and it was pretty similar. Um, and I was like, wait a minute, maybe this is amazing. And so just in case there's any confusion or you're yourself trying to compare the two, I thought I'd walk you through kind of what I did and how I've gone through comparing the two tools and what I like and don't like about them. So uh, feel free to join me. I'm going to try to keep this short-ish because I know you probably don't want to see a 30-minute video on it. So let's uh, chat through it. Let's start with Morgan because that's where I started. And so Morgan, both of what these tools do is they sync your calendars and show your calendars, but they also let you sync and add in tasks for different things. And then you can kind of plot those onto your calendar. So I could say like, oh, I want to do that here. And oh, that's actually going to take me that long to do. And you know, you can drag it around to different places. So it's kind of like, if you remember, I've talked about Taskable before. I see this is a little similar, but also a little bit different because um, this has so much more than just that time blocking feature, but it does let you do that. And it lets you kind of see, here's what I need to do today all in one place. Like here's the tasks, excuse me, here's the tasks I need to accomplish. Here's the different, you know, sort of things that I've got going on. And so that's nice. And that's how that, that works. It's pretty cool. You can integrate uh, different tools here. So they've got... Zoom, Teams, Google Meet, and for WebEx, so you can add your favorite web conferencing tool when you want to add a meeting. Uh, you can integrate your tasks. So major con for me, they don't have Trello. Uh, and those of you who know me know that's pretty much a non-starter for me because that's where I store all of my tasks and I'm not about to, you know, switch to another tool for something like that. So that was a pretty big bummer for me, but overall I was pretty excited about that. Uh, you can connect multiple accounts, so that's how you can see like my work and personal uh, calendars on here. And then one other cool thing about this is you can uh, schedule meetings. And so rather than needing to go to another tool like Calendly, you can make booking pages in here. So you can create a scheduling link. You could do one time. So let's just say I know somebody wants to meet for something next week and I don't want them to like you know, ongoing have access to my calendar, but I just want to let them know my availability for next week. You can do one time or you can do a recurrent one that is very Calendly-esque where you just say like, um, you just say like, you know, on, I'm, they want to meet from here, from here, from here, free on here, or I'm happy to meet here. It shares all those spots. You can call it, you know, test meeting and you can, I believe, hook in your, uh, I actually, I think when it creates it, it'll hook in like a Google Meet or Zoom or whatever your conferencing is. And then, yeah, you can save and copy the link and it makes a makes a post where it's like, um, here, let me just open up Chrome and you can see. It makes a post like this where you can say, hey, here's a link. So if you go here, you can book a time on that calendar. And so it's going to actually let people see, oh, based on the time she set up and based on when she's actually free because that's the thing is still checks for conflicts can we set up a meeting and then you know it looks very calendly-esque where you can put whatever there and confirm it and it even sends reminders and stuff so I thought that was really cool um and so I'm like okay that's neat that's pretty cool so you you kind of got me sold on the concept of I can see all of my tasks that I need to work on and I can also see my calendar and I can see you know I can go to a different date in it if I need to and I can add scheduling and you know do whatever I want with that so I thought that was pretty cool and then I met AkiFlow and I'd actually heard about AkiFlow before uh, a, a long time ago I feel like I was playing around with it for something and I was like wow this is um really cool but I felt like it almost did too much for me at the time and I, I don't really remember honestly what happened and why I kind of quit using it and forgot about it but I did and I thought about it again and realized it does the same sort of things now, and it seems like they've really kind of refined what they do, and but also still managed to do quite a lot with it. Slash, maybe I wasn't ready for it then, and I'm ready for it now, but uh, it is super cool. So very, very similar to AkiFlow. Let me just minimize this. Uh, very, very similar to AkiFlow, where you can see on the left side, you've, well, We'll come back to this. There's this extra menu, but you've kind of got your tasks, what you've got going on today, along with your calendar, and same sort of thing where it checks for those sort of integrations, and you can connect Google calendars, you can connect Gmail, you can connect Trello, so you know I'm excited about that. 
But it's really cool. You can set up integrations with Gmail. So like if you star an email in Gmail or apply a Occuflow label to it, then it will uh, move it into your inbox, which I'll talk more about in a second. But yeah, there's tons, tons of different integrations here. And then same with calendar. You can have your primary calendar. You can set your default conference tool um, and it'll like set those events there, tell it which calendars to look for and edit the visibility and yeah, all the, all these sorts of things. And so what else can I show you about the do do do? Okay. So yeah, yeah. You're like, okay, Morgan does all of that as well. That's, that's kind of cool. Um, but what I like about this is like, you have more than just an inbox here, which is something that somebody like me needs. Like, I want to know what am I working on today? And so in your inbox, basically new, new things come in and you can say, oh, okay, I want to, I'm, I don't want to work on that. Or you can plan it, which is different than setting a deadline. Planning says, uh, let's see, I'm probably going to work on that later today. Um, and then you can also say, you can give it a deadline. So you can say, oh, this, or sorry, you can give it a label, which relates to, oh, this is for my brand. And you can also add a deadline. So I could say like, no, this actually has to happen by tomorrow, but I want to work on it today. So you can see how it all kind of fits in in there. And all of these things, I'm using my mouse, but you can use keyboard shortcuts for it. That's probably one of my favorite things about Occuflow. And maybe Morgan has them too, and I just didn't learn them yet. But there is, there's so many keyboard shortcuts to do whatever you want. So, you know, like I said, if I wanted to plan this task, I could hover over and hit P, and I could just change it to today. And then if I want to go to today, I just hit T, and then I can see all of my tasks for today. And when I've done something, I can just hit Enter to open it and see a little bit more about it. Um, hit enter, I can hit do command O will actually open that up if I wanna to go to the source and see like whatever I had in that Trello card. And if I wanna check it off, I can, uh, what is the shortcut? E I think, yeah, mark is done as E. So I'm still learning some of the shortcuts, but there's tons of different things to do with that. And I love, you know, it's the same sort of thing where I can drag all of these things over into my calendar and like make sure I'm actually planning on like working on them at certain times. So I love that. And then we have the availability, which, because I was like, man, you know, Morgan was really cool with the, the, the calendar. That's what I want, too. Boom. Well, here we go. Same sort of thing. And I won't go into detail about this because suffice to say it works pretty much similarly to what I just showed with Morgan, where you select times and you can do one time or recurrent. And you can see, like, what are these ones that are one time that I'm waiting on. And so, yeah, so it's pretty cool. I'm a big fan of it. And you're probably now like, well, great. These are two great tools. What's the difference? What do I need to know? Um, Occuflow is my personal favorite. I like it for these keyboard shortcuts that I've described. I like it because it has Trello. And I like it because it seems to have a lot more freedom with sorting out these tasks between like, you know, you can snooze things and put it in someday where it's like, I kind of want this like stored somewhere, but I don't want to worry about it right now. And if you pay for the premium version, you can see like upcoming events. So just like I can see today, I can see what all is on deck for tomorrow. And notice it like shows the sidebar here with the date. So I can like actually... Actually, I haven't tried this, but I bet I can. Yeah, I can literally just like, um, I can like schedule it like onto the calendar. Um, like, let's see. Let me see if it'll, Wednesday, if I want to work on that there. Yeah, see, exactly, it does that. And it'll show you if it's been scheduled or not. So I think that's super cool. Um, I really like that a lot. And it's really nice to be able to sort through everything and then apply like filters if I'm like, oh, I only want to see like certain cards at certain times and I can add labels to be like, all right, today's brand day. I'm working on brand stuff. And that's just like the core features. I haven't played with this daily planning stuff, but it seems like there's like a whole thing where you can, you know, say, what did you do yesterday? What are you doing today? Like what's next? Um, and like an end of day ritual too, where you can kind of plan some stuff out, which is really awesome. And so, yeah, so this is, this is the winner for me. And you're probably like, well, let me guess this one costs an arm and a leg. Uh, no, actually, um, let me look up the pricing just so I don't misquote it. I remember them being fairly comparable. So let's just see pricing. Occuflow. I am paying for Occuflow and probably will continue to do so. I remember mostly doing it for being able to have more calendars. So I think that was what I wanted to do is because I want to have my work calendar and my personal calendar on there. And so you get a free trial for seven days. And then, uh, yeah, you can 
it's basically twelve fifty a month. I might be paying monthly for the first part just because I wanted to kind of test it out, but I'm probably going to go ahead and upgrade to a year because I'm already confident this is amazing and what I want to be using. So it's fifteen dollars a month, and uh, or you know twelve fifty a month if you go for the yearly option, and then Morgan. So it's free once again as long as you only have one calendar account. But if you want two calendar accounts, that's actually not too bad. It's uh, four dollars a year. The con is you only get one recurrent scheduling link. So that's basically like, let's say I want to have, let me go back to my availability and you'll see what I mean. So I, I have different events that I can send different links to people, right? So if I just want to chat with people for 30 minutes, that's one link. This is one recurrent count or one recurrent uh, scheduling link. If I want to like do trail consulting for an hour versus two hours, those are two different links. And those have all the details with like the length of the time and like, you know, do I want it to be Zoom, Google Meet, whatever exactly. And so um, I actually do want that to be Zoom. So anyways, so... Morgan's cool, and I appreciate, oh, you're like, oh, well, that's cheaper. For $4, I can get, you know, two calendar accounts. But you only get one of those. And I was really interested in having multiple of those because I was at the point where I was about to, like, pay $10 a month for Calendly for that. Or maybe even more than that. It might have been, like, 14 And so I was like, uh, I'm, I'm really interested in that. And then um, you have the yearly for, or sorry, we're looking at yearly pricing, by the way. Let me go back to monthly just to make it apples to apples here. So USD is $6.00. And again, um, yeah, for $6, you can get it on iOS as well. I didn't mention, I haven't talked about this much, but that's also an option with Occiflow. I haven't used that too much yet, but uh, it is an option in, in the plan. And uh, yeah, and so you get a 14-day trial, and it's $6 a month. So if, all you're lo- if you're not looking for the scheduling piece, that might be a little easier for you. If you're like, I don't need Trello, I don't need all of the... I don't need multiple scheduling links uh, for recurring meetings, and I don't, or uh, sorry, they say recurrent ones. Those are the ones that are not for just like, you know, next week at these times. They're like ongoing ones. And so if you don't need that, then you're probably going to be, let's see, you don't need that, you don't need Trello, and you don't need something to like categorize by like when you're planning to do your work versus like doing your work versus like store it somewhere else, but let me just see what I'm focused on today then you'll probably be fine with Morgan because it's a little bit cheaper here. But if you are interested in having multiple of those links, then you're going to need to pay like $14 a month for it, at which point, yes, that does kind of, like, yes, it's still technically cheaper even at the yearly for $9 a month. It's still Morgan is still cheaper slightly than Occiflow. But again, um, I would say if you need Trello, uh, Morgan has, they have it on their roadmap and they are prioritizing it, I believe, but who knows exactly when that's going to happen. And again, I just like all of the keyboard shortcuts and the control of being able to plan and sort tasks with different things in Occiflow. So for me, it was a no brainer, uh, to pay for this again. Like I said, I was about to pay this much per month for Calendly. And so just that functionality alone is really worth it for me. So yeah, I'm super excited. And if you have any questions about either of them or, want to see how something works on, you know, one versus the other, let me know. I'm definitely not an expert. I'm fairly new to both of them, but just in playing around with them for the last week, this is kind of where I've landed. So I'm curious what you think. If you like Morgan over Occiflow, what are some things I've left out here? What are some things that I haven't mentioned that makes Morgan stronger? Uh, Or same with Occiflow. Um, You know, are there other sort of things as well um, that are are better there? So anyways, uh, thanks for watching, and I look forward to hearing your thoughts.